Hey everyone, welcome back to your channel Cisco Config and in this video we are going to discuss the fourth layer of OSI model that is transport layer. And transport layer goal is service to service delivery. Let me explain what I mean service to service delivery. Here is a computer. This computer has an IP address and MAC address. In our day to day scenario, whoever is using this computer he has some web browser like Google Chrome and he's browsing the internet. But maybe at the same time that user is doing chat on Skype or MS Team or Telegram and at the same time user might playing some online game. Well, each of these programs is basically sending and receiving data on the wire. All this data will be destined to this layer 3 header to accomplish end to end delivery and this layer 2 header to accomplish hop to hop delivery. The question is how we make sure the right program receives right data. This is where the layer 4 comes into play. Layer 4 is there to managing the data stream. It's going to take all the incoming data and make sure right program receive the right data. As we know layer 3 had an addressing scheme to do end to end delivery and layer 2 also have its own addressing scheme to do hop to hop delivery. Same like that layer 4 is also have its own addressing scheme to accomplish its goal that is service to service delivery. Layer 4 addressing scheme involve ports and protocol. There are two protocol TCP and UDP and each have ports from 0 to 65535. TCP and UDP is basically two different process to managing data stream. TCP provide reliability and UDP provide efficiency. TCP and UDP are simply different process to accomplish the goal of layer 4 of OSI model. We will cover TCP and UDP later with detail in another video. But the way they works is that every single program who expecting to send or receive data on the wire is going to use a particular port number. So when data arrive on the wire, it's going to include a layer 4 header along with layer 3 and layer 2 header that we already discussed in last videos. This layer 4 header include layer 4 port number who indicate which particular program should receive this data. And like this way, layer 4 is making sure right program receive the right data. This is the high level overview of how transport layer is managing the data stream. Now let's discuss in more details. Here is a user and three server. Each of these servers are assigned a predefined well known port number which correlates to the network application. Let's say anybag.com is receiving secure web request by using HTTPS which by default receive on TCP port 443. And server from anysite.com is responding to any web request by using HTTP protocol which by default receive on TCP port 80. And this AnyChat server is running IRC. IRC stand for Internet Relay Chat which is an online chat application and it used UDP port 3667. When this user is sending a request to this server it's not only sending request to the IP address, it's also going to send a request to the specific port. So when each request sent by the user, the user is going to choose a random port number to use as the source port for this communication. So a connection from user to anyset.com server would look like this. It includes a source port number 9999. This port is randomly selected by user for this particular connection. The destination of this packet is the IP address of anysite.com server going to use TCP protocol port 80 which is the HTTP application. Remember the source and destination IP address are going to exist in the layer 3 header of the packet and the source and destination ports are going to exist in the layer 4 header of the packet. This randomly selected source port is actually very important because this is the port where user will waiting for the response to the original request. Meaning when this server respond 
to this web request that packet will look like this here you notice the destination port is 9999 this is the same port that was selected by the user randomly when sending the request so for all connections there is always a source port and a destination port that are involved the destination port is normally provided by application and the source port is randomly selected by the user so our connection from this user to this anysite.com has the following attribute it's a tcp connection from this ip address and port to this destination ip address and port here you notice in the initial packet this was the source and this was the destination and in respond packet it's exactly opposite this is the source and this is the destination this process is occur for each connection made by the user and in each case the client is selecting a new random source port and because of this new random source port when all these server respond to ip address then whatever is destined to port 8888 will be sent to web browser and whatever is destined to port 7777 will be sent to irs client in this way data stream are keep isolated from each other these port number will ensure that the right application get the right data this process is also allow the user to make multiple connection to the same server by simply using different ports number for example when you browsing the internet or you watching this video you not only open a one tab you have open multiple tab to the same website the reason each of these browser tabs don't accidentally display the data from another tab is that when each time you open a new tab your web browser generate a new random source port number that's why the data stream are isolated from one another it's a function of tcp or udp which are both layer 4 protocols and again layer 4 goal is service to service delivery of data that's it for the fourth layer of osi model that is transport layer and thank you for watching please don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel thank you